You and I head football coach Mark Farley has had a very busy fall season. All three of his children are playing collegiate sports, with his daughter Jamie starting for the Wartburg Knights volleyball team, and his two sons, Jake and Jared, playing linebacker for the Panther football squad. This is the final season of competition for Jake, and he's overcome a mountain of adversity in the past year to get to where he is today. In 2013, Jake Farley was the leading tackler for UNI's defense through the first five games. He led the team with 12 tackles in a win over Iowa State, returned a fumble for his first career touchdown, and totaled 13 tackles in a win at Northern Colorado. But his season ended in the second half of UNI's game at North Dakota State. From that point on, Jake Farley was preparing for his final season as a Panther. Each day, one day at a time, you know, it's a little different than, uh, you know, having regular workouts, you, get, you know, each day is a little different how your body feels after an injury. He's uh, had precision focus all off season, I'd say, on, you know, rehabilitating his injury. And, uh, you know, I don't know that I've ever seen somebody put as much time into rehab as I've seen him this off season. Jake's rehab efforts are pretty symbolic of how he approaches the game of football. Put in the amount of time required and then put in a little extra. And when Jake came in, he really just you know, you could tell he's been a Panther since day one uh, and that he grew up around Panther football. So uh, I think he definitely breaks the stereotype. He's just one of us. We don't even, we don't see him as a coach's son. Uh, he's just one of our brothers. Jake has also welcomed his own brother, Jared, to the Panther football brotherhood. Contributing as a true freshman and playing in his brother's senior year, Jared is proof that a little extra guidance can help a player accelerate their ability. The leadership that Jake has shown has left a lasting impression with his dad, you and I head coach, Mark Farley. Quite honestly, the, the, the neatest experience I've had is to watch those two work together. To see two brothers work together with one common goal, to stay after practice and get some extra work in for the older brother teaching the younger brother. I think that's been the coolest thing about it, to see those two come together the way they have throughout this football season. And it's not just Jared. I mean, Jake's, I ask all my old hats to, to try to talk to those young fellas and, and you know like during practice especially um, if we're doing something and, and they're standing there and, and maybe they can help those young guys understand what we're trying to do and uh, both Jake and Max have really done a great job of that. Jake does the little things that it takes to be able to make the big plays when it matters. From the film room to the weight room, Jake is always looking for an edge that he can get on an opponent. He studies hard, he prepares, um, and, and you know, he's started to become vocal now as a senior, and I think our kids feed off of him. He has an unbelievable desire to win, a will to win, um, that I think is infectious, and I think ultimately that helps bring our whole football team along. In meetings, he's always asking questions and trying to, you know, have us see things from a different perspective. Uh, I know I go to him for advice, you know, and ask him how my game's looking too, you know. Uh, yeah, great, great leader and you know he's a warrior out on the field too and uh, he's willing to put everything on the line as well. For the Farley family, UNI football has been in their blood since Mark played in the 1980s. But this season, that's involved Mark as coach, Jake as the leader, and Jared as the next man in, has seen all three of them put it all on the line and it's paying off. Jake's leading one of the top defenses that's looking to make some noise in the FCS playoffs. See, it's been a priceless experience. I, n I never knew coming into this what it'd be like, but it is looking back on it now that every day you go out there that he's on the field, and he, but he's one of the players and you know it's a certain connection that, that you have that that can't be you know replaced. It's gone fast I'll tell you that. Um, I'll reflect when it's over but my focus right now is on moving forward and playing as many games as we can this year. 